Hi everyone, so today I'm here with my review of Goddess by Josephine Angelini. So I received this book uh, for free from Goodreads First Reads, I won it from my kind of book and I was so happy when I found out that I'd won this because I've been waiting for this book for ages to come out and yeah um, I just couldn't wait to start reading it. So since this is the last book in a trilogy I won't be giving a synopsis because I don't want any spoilers in it so I will leave the link to the Goodreads page for Goddess in the description box below if anyone wants to check out the synopsis for this book. So I felt like I'd been waiting for ages for this book to come out. I was so desperate to know what was going to happen in the final installment of this trilogy and whether Helen and Lucas were finally going to find out the truth. And especially after the ending of Dreamless, I just had to know how everything was going to change and how it was going to affect everyone's lives and the world. After what happened at the end of Dreamless, Helen gained some extra powers and she became an extremely powerful Scoin. So in this one she was very powerful and dangerous. She became a completely different person in this book and the reason is revealed throughout the novel. Uh, she was completely unsure of how she felt towards Ryan and Lucas because she knew she shouldn't care for Lucas but she couldn't stop herself from doing it so she was trying to focus all of her feelings towards Ryan but that wasn't working either. I just love Lucas so much. No matter how much pain it puts him through he always protects Helen and I really adore that about him. Uh, he's just such a sweetheart and I really 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 love Lucas. I really loved Orion as well. It was pretty obvious that he and Helen wouldn't work out because from the flashbacks that we were getting there was someone who loved Orion deeply and he just couldn't see it yet. So the reader always knows that Orion and Helen aren't really suited for each other. He's just such a caring guy and he helps a lot of people throughout this book. Trust Hector to go and fall in love with the girl who hates him because of his face. Oh god. Hector has never been a one woman guy until Andy comes along but Andy won't go anywhere near him because he looks exactly like Apollo and Apollo attacked her so I felt really bad for Hector. Oh it was just such a shame to see her reaction towards him and yeah I felt really bad for him after that. Andy was a good addition in this book as well. Um, Andy was a siren and it was kind of interesting learning about her and learning about what she could do and learning that she was a part of the past too. So yes, she was a very interesting character. I really enjoyed the journey we were taking on in this one. Hades was trying to train Helen because it turns out that she isn't just a descender, she is a world builder and there have only been two previous world builders, one being the girl who created Atlantis. So Hades was trying to train her because the second that Helen built a world, Zeus and all the other gods would come and try to take control of it. There was also the storyline of the Tyrant. Everyone was trying to work out who the Tyrant was and in my opinion I thought it was pretty obvious who the Tyrant was and I really don't understand how they didn't see it. I just did. I was like right there, right in front of you and they just didn't see it until the end of the book. But um, yeah, I still enjoyed uh, the uncovering of who the tyrant was. And then we had Matt. Matt was acting very, very weird and it took me a while to place exactly why he was acting weird. And it turns out that Matt is a major part of this whole story. And then we learned a lot more about Orion, his childhood, where he came from, his family. And I really enjoyed learning a lot more about him, but I did feel really sorry for him after what we found out about his family. The ending for this trilogy was just spectacular. I swear I cried like three times. The first time I cried was because of something that happened to one of the characters in this book and I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that Josephine Angelini would do that to one of my favourite characters in this whole series and I was just in tears because I didn't want to believe that, I didn't want it to be true and I just didn't want it to end without this character. The second time I cried was Lucas's stupid decision. I mean, why didn't he come talk to Helen? Did it not cross his mind that maybe he would go speak to Helen before he makes a stupid life altering decision? Apparently not. He just goes off and does whatever the hell he wants and doesn't even consult anyone. Well done Lucas. And then the last time I cried was because of the ending. It was just so happy and wrapped up very nicely and I really really loved it. Um, even though Lucas's decision uh, will ruin everything one day because <sighs> Lucas makes very bad decisions. But anyways everything other than that was absolutely fantastic and I adored the ending to this trilogy. I ended up giving this book 
5 out of 5 stars. It was just such a fantastic end to the series. It was jam packed full of action twists and I loved every second of it. Thank you so much Josephine and Angelini for writing such an amazing trilogy that I have became extremely invested in. So that was my review for Goddess by Josephine Angelini. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys later. Bye everyone.